today I'm switching it up and doing an all blue kawaii set. I usually only use like pink, purple, and black for my nail sets, so I decided I wanted to do blue. Um, so I'm starting with this glitter nail. Uh, before all of this, I did prep my nails. I always prep my nails, I just do it off camera. Um, typically what I do is uh, use a sanding band to go over my natural nails just to rough them up a little bit. You don't want to be too rough with this part. Um, after that, I go around my cuticles to get any of the dead skin off and I clip all the dead skin off. Um, I also use the sanding band to scratch the inside of the part of the tip that's going to be applied to my nails um, just so that both the rough surfaces can kind of meld together. Um, I do use dehydrator and primer first and then I glue my tips on. Then I go in with a peel off base coat around my natural nail and then I use a regular base coat on the tip of my nail so that the acrylic doesn't peel off of the tips. Um, so that's usually how I prep my nails. Um, if I plan on keeping my set longer, then I use like a regular base coat on my whole entire nail. But I always do my nails once a week, so I try to use the peel off base coat because it's, it's still like pretty hard to get my nails off because I get them off all in one piece um, because I like to keep them. So I kind of just like rip them off. So my natural nails are pretty gross. Um, they look pretty rough, uh, but it's not always that bad. <laughs> so I'm just using um, all Model 1's acrylic today to do these nails. I don't think I ever used either of these glitter colors that I'm using. So I thought they looked really cute and I wanted to use them. I was going to go for a really dark royal blue set. But I realized I don't have any royal blue acrylic, like no dark blues. Um, and Model 1's doesn't really make any. The darkest blue that they have, uh, I am using today. But it looks really kind of see-through when you don't layer it. Um, overall, Model 1's is just like kind of a low quality acrylic. So it's kind of expected. Um, I have to, like as you see, I'm flipping over my nails a lot because their acrylic is takes a long time to set and like dry so it's very very runny like I try to dry off my um, brush all the way before I pick up a bead and it still ends up running all over the place it's crazy um, but they're super cheap and on Amazon and so I have like every single set you can buy from Amazon by them because they're so cheap and you can get like every color um, obviously besides royal blue <laughs> um but yeah i started branching out and i'm trying to buy like good brand acrylics like valentino or i just got one from mccart literally today after editing this um it's so cute it's like sparkly glittery it kind of has like a yellow tint to it though i don't really know what that's about i think it's supposed to look like that though like that's the goal i just wish it was more like white sparkly glittery kind of vibes but uh, either way it's really cute <laughs> um anyway um so i use like a darker glitter on my pointer finger than on my ring finger i have this light blue glitter um which after I finished this set, I actually, like, before I put on the charms, I didn't really like my nails at all. Like, I was very not happy with them. I ended up liking them a lot more after I put all the charms on. But for my left hand, I ended up using um, the light blue glitter that I'm using right now for all of my fingers. Because I thought the light blue glitter was, like, really, really cute. So I just decided to go with that on my other hand because I liked it better um but yeah I'm just building the nails right now and for these glitter nails I'm not uh clear capping them I'm just building the entire nail with them for my pinky thumb and middle finger I am going to have to clear cap them because I'm doing a little design on those
So on my middle finger, I'm trying to do like a little marble effect kind of thing. Um, I'm using the darkest blue, uh, a light blue, and white, and I'm just kind of placing this anywhere. Um, they'll kind of just run together as you place them down. If it looks a little bit blocky, I just kind of tap my brush around the edges and it kind of just blends together. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of random placement. I'm just filling in the spaces on my nail. Don't want to make this part too thick because I do have to clear cap it. And on my pinky and thumb, I just did an ombre using the darkest blue and the lightest blue. Um, but it, like I said, Model 1's is very like kind of see-through if you don't layer it up, or these colors are at least. Um, so the colors do kind of look the same. Um, I mean, I am covering up all my nails with charms, so it's not really noticeable. It's not a big deal. It's just not the look I was trying to achieve, uh, which I guess that's probably why I didn't really like my nails after I was finished with them. Um, but I mean, it, it looks fine. It's done fine. The colors are just not really what I wanted. So it's okay though. <laughs> um, I will be clear capping my pinky and thumb since I'm doing the ombre on them. So after I finished up with this, I did clear cap my nails off camera and then I filed. So now I'm top coating all my nails and when I file, I just use my e-file to go around my cuticles to blend the acrylic into my natural nail and make it look like seamless. Um, then I use the hand file and do all the rest of the filing with my hand file because I feel like it's easier to achieve the shape that I want. Um, with the hand file so I do that for a while which obviously I did off camera um, then I just top coated all my nails um, then I'm gonna be putting on all the charms So I cured the top coat, now I'm going to be putting on all my charms using this McCart gem glue. Um, I already picked out all of my charms so that it didn't take forever for me to like figure out what I wanted because 
since I'm kind of free handing this set, it's it takes me forever to like pick out what I want for the charm. So I just went with like all the blue ones that I had. Um, you'll see my brother's hand like grab the charms and like play with them a little bit in this. So excuse that. He was very curious about all the charms because they looked like little gummies. Um, I'm just kind of curing, like flash curing in between um, after I put on the charms. Um, then after I finish putting them all on, I'm going to do the final cure for like a full 60 seconds just to make sure everything is attached. And this is how my nails turned out. I definitely like them a lot better with all of the charms on them. And you'll get to see my left hand where I used all the light blue glitter for every nail. And I definitely like this hand a lot better. Um, I used a little bit like different charms on this hand. Um, not too many different ones, but yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.